Hello everybody. This is a quick example of an app that was developed using B4A over the weekend. The app utilizes an online MySQL database which is on my server and I also utilize a Bluetooth barcode scanner. So let me just show you the app. The app in effect only took about a day and a half to write so um, it wasn't a whole weekend. This is the basic app. When you look at the screen you'll see add stock and search stock. I'll start off by showing you the search stock screen. Now let me just begin by adding a barcode scanner. So I'll turn my barcode scanner on, well one of them. And now I'll add the CT101. Give that a couple of seconds. Barcode scanner connected. Okay. So I've integrated the description screen into a tab. And there's three ways to search for stock. The first way is to use the search for stock filter and to do that you just tap on the icon in the middle of the top right hand side and let's do a quick search for W203 it brings back results which were found in stock description and stock code so we can do a search for stock code if you know exactly what the stock code is. Let's say bat one. So it'll just bring up this particular item, which is a car battery. Let's go back and search for Tcon. Nope, we will search for W203 again. Okay, that was the first way of searching for stock. The second way is to use the drill down menu system, categories and subcategories. So let me click on a category, I'll select LG and I'll select a subcategory of main boards. Here are the main boards I have in stock. I can one click on an item to view more information about it. Let's pick another one. Let's say Hitachi and Tcons. I'll long click on the very first item. Now you'll see there's a small image, but you can zoom into that image simply by long clicking on the image and then using pinch to zoom to view the image in finer detail. So even though this is an Itachi TCOM board, it's actually manufactured by LG Displays. We can change the stock level simply by typing in a number, let's say 7, tapping update and that has now updated the MySQL database online to 7. Now I know there's only 5 in stock, so I will put that back to 5. But that's as simple it is to adjust the stock levels. The same way that if an item is discontinued, just tap on it. And if it's not discontinued, just tap on the checkbox again. So I've now shown you two ways to search stock. This list, by the way, is a lazy loading list. So we can just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and the data will just keep getting populated well the list will keep getting populated until there's no more data to populate it the third way to search for stock is by using the barcode scanner here's an example I've got a couple of items here I will start off by scanning a Sonoff 4 channel Wi-Fi switch, there you go. So that's jumped online to the MySQL database, it's found the barcode and brought back the results. And 
once again we can long click on the image pinch to zoom now we can barcode again on this screen and you'll see it's now switched to a Sonoff Wi-Fi switch you can go back to the very first one we scanned Wi-Fi switch 4 channel and back to the standard switch we can also scan in the list screen so that's the 4 channel Wi-Fi switch that's the standard Wi-Fi switch okay I'll now show you how to add stock if you go back to the main menu screen and just tap on add stock you will see the information and screen this is on a tab as well so we can just scroll over here's a list of the manufacturers that I've put in I'll quickly put in one called test if I scroll down you can now see test is in the MySQL database to delete test we just long click say yes and test is no longer in there categories and subcategories now whenever I do any sort of system like this I always use categories and subcategories because it helps it helps the end user to categorize and find their items more quickly if they have thousands of items in stock so if we look down the list you will see we have Samsung which is a category and the subcategories are buttons, IR receivers, LED strips, main boards etc. I will show you just how easy this is to use. OK, I'll scroll down the list and you will see test screen and test test. Test is the category, screen is the subcategory and test test. Test The second test is a subcategory too. I will add test slash tester and now if I scroll down the list you will see test as a category and tester as a subcategory I will now show you how simple that is to use we're back on the main information screen if we just select a cat the category which is test and go down to subcategory you will now see tester is in subcategories and basically any item I add to test and tester will only show in the results list under test and tester category test subcategory tester if I'm using the draw down menu that way it doesn't bring back thousands of results it just brings back what's in the category and subcategories okay let's add an item of stock I will delete test and tester first go back All right, let me add a new switch which I've received and it's called a Sonoff 4 channel Wi-Fi switch and it's the Pro Revision 2 category is IOT subcategory is Sonoff the manufacturer is ITED stock code we'll call it SN4 okay the barcode we will just barcode that straight into the system there you go in stock one cost price $14.99 let's just say and the sale price will just say $24.99 now the item is in new condition so we'll just keep it on new now you would think at this stage you would be able to just hit the save button and save the item but if you do that which is the top right hand icon the system will take you straight to the image tab to tell you to take a photo 
and that's because this particular system of written will only allow you to save items once you've taken a photo so let's just go and do that I will put the camera in high quality mode and I'll take a photo okay so the photo has been taken it's now compressing the image and rotating the image ready to be saved so now we can hit the save button which is the top right top right hand button and added new stock item has appeared on the bottom of the screen so let's find that stock item now there's a three ways as I said previously to find stock one of them is to use the barcode scanner so we'll do that now tap on the image and pinch and zoom to view a better quality image well to view the image larger once again we can type in Sonoff it will bring up all the Sonoff switches and the one we put in is this one if you know this one second we'll do it another way if you know the stock code it's SN4 brings it up that way or we can use the category and subcategory system now please note under most categories if we go Samsung you then have to pick a subcategory let's just say buttons but with IOT we don't have to select the subcategory simply because there's only one subcategory thus the app will automatically load up that subcategory and as I've said previously this is a lazy loading system so it will just keep loading until there's nothing else to load it's relatively quick it's based on MySQL which is an online server on the internet and I would just like to thank the B4X community and all the library developers for creating the libraries which I've used in this app okay thank you bye